How do island arcs form? Imagine standing on a beach, gazing at a series of beautiful islands rising from the ocean. These islands, known as island arcs, are not just picturesque. They are the result of fascinating geological processes. Have you ever wondered how they come to be? Island arcs form primarily through the movement of tectonic plates. The Earth's outer shell, called the lithosphere, is divided into several large and small plates that float on the semifluid layer beneath them. When two tectonic plates collide, one plate often gets pushed under the other in a process known as subduction. This typically occurs between an oceanic plate and a continental plate, or between two oceanic plates. As the oceanic plate descends into the mantle, it begins to melt due to the intense heat and pressure. This melting generates magma, which is less dense than the surrounding rock. Over time, this magma rises through the crust and can lead to volcanic activity. When the magma reaches the surface, it erupts and forms volcanic islands. These volcanic islands can accumulate over time, creating a chain or arc of islands that are often curved in shape. This is why we refer to them as island arcs. The process of subduction and volcanic activity can continue for millions of years, leading to the growth and evolution of these islands. In summary, island arcs are formed through the subduction of tectonic plates, resulting in volcanic activity that creates a series of islands. Next time you admire an island arc, you can appreciate the dynamic geological processes that shaped it.